This is Damon Stevens with Finwell Builders. Today is Wednesday, September 7th, 2022, in the stock market update for our trades of the day. And boy, nice boom in the market today. So hopefully you took advantage of that and uh, you liked it in your long-term portfolios as well as the uh, day trades that you may have been doing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, as we get into our discussion today, uh, we have uh, Pal speaking to us tomorrow before the open. So uh, anything goes. Uh, you know, we had a great update today. Uh, that could be totally reversed uh, with something that said tomorrow morning. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but as we get in the charts, we'll show you kind of what's going on. We did get a bounce that we expected. And so we're liking that. Also, our uh, crypto Luna uh, Classic is just going crazy. Uh, and uh, even with uh, Bitcoin pulling back to new lows here. So uh, very interesting. Try not to chase it unless you're already in it. If you're in it, uh, you know, like I've said others, just make sure maybe you lock in your principal and let your profits run uh, if you're going to let it run. Uh, it's not financial advice, but, you know, you never know when things are going to turn, and that thing has just been on a rocket ride. Well, let's get into it. Take a look what's going on. So look at the Dow Jones. See, we Dow Jones closed up 1.4%, NASDAQ up 2.1%. 4% and S&P 500 up 1.83%. Uh, you can see here, uh, just green across the board, except for energy. Energy had a pullback here. So uh, continue to see some weakness in the energy sector. Uh, but, you, you know, we're even outside our FANG stocks, just everything skyrocketed today. You could just about, about, just about anything today uh, and been up on it. Uh, looking at our scanner, nothing really hit, you know, the scanner here that we traded. Uh, so we'll just kind of go into some stocks here. Lulu is one that we've been tracking and we've been talking about this last few days after earnings just continues to go to new highs. And that's what, exactly what we did today. 324. Now we're up to 336. So just, and this thing's been on a rocket ride, just continues to go up uh, with this market. Coupa also had earnings. You can see this little rocket ride here from, you know, 55, uh, you know, up to this high here, uh, pre-market 63. Pull back here overnight down to 61. And now we topped out here at 66. Uh, so it just continues to, to rocket right, you know, as we go up. So another one we're watching on the short list, uh, looking at uh, what's coming up. So this is, you know, a thing to keep in mind. So before the market opens, we get initialist jobless claims. As long as that matches, it's not going to possibly probably affect the market. Uh, we, but here's Jerome Powell speaking. At 9 10 a.m eastern time so that that uh definitely could rock the market one way or the other so just be uh, aware of that uh and then we also have um chicago fed uh president speak at noon and then uh friday you know we have our uh you know again another another discussion from a few of the feds so just keep that in mind as we're closing out this week and looking at our calls and our puts, the people short in the market with contracts versus long. Uh, you know, if there's two people still shorting the market versus long, you see this contract at 380 is uh, the, the largest group of contracts. Uh, and we're not quite there yet. Um, you know, we hit 388, so we we're kind of on our way down there. But, you know, we found support and bounced off of that. So the market closes up around 400, which is the direction we almost hit today. Uh, that's going to create the most pain because all these guys are going to lose their lose out on money. So the market's really pushing up towards that 400, almost there today. I was going to make it possibly. Um, so it's right here at that max pain, which means if you're short of the market with these puts, uh, you probably are going to take a loss unless uh, Jerome says something tomorrow that's going to be impactful and negatively on the market like it was last time he spoke. So just something to be aware of if you are short in the market with contracts. Uh, looking at uh, you know the the stocks in the S and P five hundred that are were above the fifty day moving average. We talked about this you know every day. You know we we went well beyond the norm. And that's right about the time we had the pullback that we had now. Uh, we we kind of settled out here around you know thirty two percent or thirty three percent in companies. Still, you know, holding above the 50-day, which is bullish. Uh, but that wasn't a, a large percentage. But you can see today the spike, we're back up to 47. So we went right back up to this uh, resistance line here, right under the 250. So 
we'll see, you know, maybe we just chop here for a while. You can see we consolidated here a few times in the past. Um, but a uh, nice rally up today um, off this uh, support line that we've been at for a few days. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to our channel and like our videos so we can continue bringing this content to you. You know, you can see here, obviously, we go live in the morning uh, and then at night we uh, give you updates. So we try to keep everybody informed of what's going on in the market. That way, uh, you know, you feel prepared and planned for the day. And then also we have a free non-discord chat and daily watch list where we post our watch list before the market opens on what we're trading, when we're getting in, when we're getting out. Uh, very helpful for our, our members and non-members. Uh, so definitely join us there uh, and uh, take advantage of that opportunity uh, and, and watch our video here if you want to know more about us and what we offer as an organization. Uh, looking at some other charts here, our short list, uh, looking at Chipotle. Chipotle um, found support here before that 50-day moving average and bounced off and ran back up here almost towards these highs. So uh, Chipotle, nice, strong move today. So we'll see if we can go up here and tag this high. That, uh, that we had before um, from, you know, after this long run after earnings. Uh, so uh, looking nice and bullish. If not, this will be a, a lower high, which means, you know, more likely work our way down. Uh, but uh, nice run today. Apple, you know, it's been falling for a while here. You know, after this nice big bull run, you can see it's just been kind of falling down. Found support today and bounced a little bit right off that 200. So we got below the 200 day. We're back above it now. So we'll see if we can get some momentum here with Apple to run. Uh, they announced their uh, I, their uh, new iPhone and their AirPods, and uh, but obviously that was not enough to to keep it uh, going super strong because we had kind of were, you know, up and down today. Uh, so uh, just be careful there with Apple. You see this engulfing candles still captured it. So we got to get above that candle uh, to start moving to new highs here. Uh, Tesla is in the spin in this uh, this wedge here. Uh, came down here, tagged this space right here up for two days. You know, in the last four four trading days, uh, which is where this uh, kind of this basically this neckline was broke. Uh, it was where we had support, and you can see we rallied up and tagged the twenty day moving average. So if we can get a, you know above this 20-day moving average, we get around 284. My bill continue to run up here towards the trend line, upper trend line. If not, we may pull back here a little bit, but nice run, bull run today on Tesla. Microsoft, nice run up here off that support line. Have resistance coming up here at 259. If we, get, we need to break that line to, to move forward. Uh, otherwise, we could be consolidating here for a while. Amazon, nice nice run up here as well. Just close on, right on our um, resistance line, which has been resistance a few times now with support here, resistance here. Comes back to the state here back in June and the state back in April. So we got to break that line, uh, hopefully tomorrow. And if we can, then Amazon continue to run. Otherwise, we may pull back or consolidate this little box here. NVIDIA, try to make a little run. It's off this bottom. So, you know, it's got to get, you know, really momentum here and get above 141 to, to run here. Um, otherwise, it may just consolidate there at the bottom for now. Looking at Netflix, Netflix had a nice little run. You know, it is down quite a bit. It has this huge gap that someday it might fill. Um, but, you know, it had a nice little run today. So, you know, that's where you're, you're scalping this stock, you know, as it kind of sits in this, you know, really tight range. And I guess if we wanted to... to Show you that range. We uh, I could tighten this up a little bit here. It's really you know there's a strategy for shorting, uh, for going along and shorting these um, these these ranges. Basically, what you want to do is short off the top of the range and go long on the, the bottom of the range. Um, and so there's a way to make money uh, even in a flat market. I see it was one that we we uh, you know had this nice run up here. To sixteen dollars is pulled back here to thirteen ninety six, and now it's kind of back up here. Uh, this one kind of lost steam, so I'm watching it, but on my little priority list uh, based on you know the moment we're getting in the other stocks. So we're gonna have the ten year yield when it's high, uh, markets come down. When it's low, markets go up. We had a nice pullback today on the ten year yield that helped the market to rally today. Two year yield 
pulled back as well, help the market to rally. Dollar pulled back, help the market to rally, and usually will help gold out as well, and it did. Gold bounced off that support line back out here towards the top of it. So um, that's good to see uh, some movement there. U.S. oil, boy, really gapped down today. So some huge weaknesses in, in oil. Uh, so something to keep an eye on. Hopefully you left profits uh, when you're at the top there. Uh, the VIX on a daily basis, you can see VIX came down. So that's good. We like it below 25. That's what we talked about in our, our videos. But that's going to help the market to rally. On a weekly basis, you can see we're pulling back here, just sitting right on that 20-day moving average. SPY on a one day. So you see here that we've been this wedge. This was our bottom. Here's the top. Came down. We tagged the bottom and found support there. And then today we got our run. So looking for a run back up here towards the top, maybe around 421, 423. Uh, if we break out, if not, you know, we could stay down here and just chop a little bit. And you can see that, you know, for the last four days we've been on this lower, you know, basically middle deviation pen. Spy. Buy in a weekly, you see here, bounce support. Second day, bounce off that. So looking to see if we continue up, uh, you know, 421 area. Uh, again, falling very much along the line with the uh, standard. Uh, triple cubes, uh, NASDAQ. Nice little bounce off, off this uh, support level here. Hopefully we can hold that. If not, we could become range bound in this area where we've been before. There's also this grouping here. So we'll see what uh, what Google uh, Triple P can do. Looking at semiconductors, nice bull run, pull back below these ranges, right? Actually into this little range here is kind of where we're at. So looking for a, a jump back out of semiconductors to move to the upside. IWM, nice bull run, nice pull back, nice little bounce off of our center line here. Uh, so we're still kind of, you know, within these two candles. Looking for, you know, a play above 183.70 or this, you know, if we break this trend line, then below, you know, 178. XLF, a nice little pullback here. You can see uh, looking for support to hold around, you know, 32.76 and a breakout above 33.48. On XLV, nice little pullback here. You can see back to this zone where we were at back in May. This kid's okay, exactly where we're at now. So we see if we can get a bounce off here and run a little bit higher on this one. Bitcoin, again, we talked about this, you know, pullback here to weakness. You can use the to, you know, pull back. Hopefully, we can get support here and run. Uh, if it not, then, uh, you know, we could be, you know, retesting the lows here. Bitcoin's got to get going above this 119 or 19,000. Ethereum, pullback, support, about midline. We'll see if uh, we can continue uh, getting this to, to move here and uh, keep that bull run going at uh, just trying to get started. Otherwise, you know, we do have lower, lower highs in and lower lows, so that's still good uh, in the short term. And then Luna, here's Luna. So look at this thing, just kind of rocket ride up. So we've got a new high today, just under 50 cents. So we'll see what it can do. Um, but uh, so far, so good. Yeah, and that's our stocks and our cryptos. Definitely join us on our free Discord. Uh, also, if you become a member, we have live trading, training courses, group training, one-on-ones. Uh, we'll even, uh, you know, look at your desktop and see how you're trading and what you're using to trade and see if there's some suggestions we can make there as well. Um, but definitely sign up so you can get our uh, into our uh, master course, training course, uh, and, you know, continue to subscribe and become part of our community. And hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow night. See uh, what we need to do the next day. Again, watch the morning for some direction here with uh, Powell speaking. Everybody have a great night.